Hey, hey Bash. It's the 28th of October, 2018. And I will tell you that there is so much going on right now that it is a virtual impossibility to, number one, keep up with it and to put it all together, what is being shown. Um, but, you know, this is par for the course, God's will. And when we see these things, we share them with each other because we know that they're of the Spirit and we're supposed to share them. Uh, what they mean is, you know, up to interpretation, you take it to prayer. Take everything in with discernment, okay? Um, but this is pretty crazy stuff that I've just been shown here. And I'm also having problems with all my computer and all kinds of stuff. Uh, almost as though uh, out of nowhere and so I don't know there might be something here that they don't want to be shared so I'm just doing doing the best I can with what I got you know but um these 11 people were killed at this synagogue yesterday okay now this was during a baby naming ceremony and when President Trump spoke about this he he really enunciated the baby naming ceremony aspect of it, if you go back and listen to what he said. Okay? That's, that's concerning the eighth day, this ceremony. And this article is the first one I saw, and it, it's just crazy, you guys. But it was released at 11.33 yesterday. And this ties into so many things. It was updated at 6.11. Okay? So... 11 people die at this synagogue, and it's known uh, as the Tree of Life Synagogue, okay? So, the Tree of Life. Now, this is just where it gets kind of weird, right? You got 11 people died at the synagogue, the Tree of Life. And when I punch in the Tree of Life, okay, the Jewish Tree of Life, the first thing that comes up is the Kabbalah Tree. The Kabbalah tree, or the ten Sephiroth plus the Kether, is totals eleven, and there were eleven people killed at this synagogue called the Tree of Life. And if you pop over to the images of this, you get menorahs. Okay, these tree menorahs. All right. Notice that some are seven branch and some are nine branch. And when I saw the nine branch, it reminded me immediately of baseball. The nine players, okay? Now, this can just go so far. I mean, the, it's just so amazing. Um, the night before last in that marathon baseball game, that's what they called it, a marathon game, after we were seeing the Boston Marathon, this guy, Max... Muncie, okay, MM, 13, 13, 13, and Max Muncie just happens to be number 13, okay, uh, Max Muncie, number 13, hits the home run to win this marathon game, and the final is 3-2, so 2-3, essentially, you could say, right, 23, and the reason I say that is because the the game itself featured a wide array of statistics that were broken, and one of which was the length of it, 7 hours and 20 minutes, which equals 440 minutes. Okay, exactly. It ended at 3.30 a.m. in Boston. 46 players appeared in the game, 23 from each team. Okay, last night's game, ended a score of 6 to 9, 69, right? So all these things I'm seeing, right? The menorah, uh, the, the tree of life, the nine players in baseball, and then the 23, 46, 69. I don't know what to make of this, but it's jumping out at me, okay? Uh, so, you know, I share it with you. And when I continued, right? on this tree uh, of life search. I forget which term I put in, but it was still the tree of life. 
And I came up with, you're going to get a kick out of this. I couldn't believe when I saw this here, right? This Simpson episode called A Tree Grows in Springfield. And the whole episode is about Homer being depressed. And so there's a tree that oozes out the word hope, okay? This hope tree. It's amazing. You have to watch it. But the episode itself begins with Homer having a dream. And you got to hear the, uh, the audio on this because it's hilarious, really. And uh, this just came in a search, you guys. That's all I could tell you. But listen, listen, watch this. This is the dream at the very beginning. It's the World Series to our bottom of the ninth. Yes, we're at the point where baseball becomes mildly interesting. Can Homer Simpson fresh off an anxiety dream about not studying for a high school test, come into this dream and knock one out of the park? <laughs> okay, we'll go through this whole thing, but I I'll play it all through afterwards, right? There's so much we could go through on this. Okay, first off, it's it's the World Series, right? You got Homer dreaming he's at the World Series. There's your blue Dodgers and your red Series socks right there. And as we look at it, if you look at this scene right here, okay, I've been to Fenway Park a thousand times. It's been many years, but this, this is eerily uh, similar to Fenway, the press box. You're looking at it from atop of the green monster left field wall, the red pennants. And notice the Duff. It's called Duff Stadium. It's all red, right? point where baseball becomes mildly interesting can homer simpson fresh off an ink the homer h remember and this all is just so linked together uh in all the articles there all they were talking about was max muncie's walk off homer in the 18th inning the the every article it seemed like max muncie homer okay tons of numbers in this thing but the h homer also, uh, I'm just telling you, baseball itself is just, you want to talk about deceiving the nations. It's literally a Masonic based, it's all PSYOP basically. It's just to get you to care about things like sports instead of God and your family. You know what I mean? That's what it's designed to do. And the Homer, the H, is also representative of the Royal Arch Masonry. You can't really see that very good there, but it literally represents this same thing here, the triple tau, the H in Homer. It also can be an eight, but, you know, I'm not really getting into that stuff, but I'm just saying, I'm looking at this Max Muncie home run, number 13, MM, 13, 13, and he's number 13. Let's think about that. And there he goes. He smacks the home run, right? Now, what happens when Homer does this, okay? I'll let this play now, okay? We'll start it. We'll start it right at the beginning of the dream. Series two out bottom of the ninth. Yes, we're at the point where baseball becomes mildly interesting. Can Homer Simpson fresh off an anxiety dream about not studying for a high school test, come into this dream and knock one out of the park? And who to thunk it? We're food too. And apparently I'm married to a pork chop and have drumstick children. How did that happen? Yeah. We're food too, right? Look at this. Que pasa? 8.90 a.m. 17. Dream radio. 10.70. 17. You just, oh, this stuff is just loaded. And they're food. You understand? You notice the kids building a pyramid with the beer cans. And there's the Duff guy again. Uh, the pitcher, steroid Santa Claus, kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back. And the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. Uh, he just broke this dream's reality wide open. So he breaks the sky, right? Now, this is crazy, man. There's so much we could go through here. The Duff, the the Santa Claus, the Red, right? The 
Look at the Grinch with the tongue sticking out and the eyes X'd out. Red socks, right? They all wear be beards now, right? And it's like, it's just crazy. It's just eerie how this came across the way it did. World Series, it looks like Fenway Park. Remember the Duff? It's all about Duff, right? So I throw Duff into the uh, Gematria, you know? It's just one of them things that I do, right? Duff, it happens to be 222 two, two in the English Gematria. And what else could it be but 216 in the Jewish? 666 in the 162 games. You can't make this stuff up. And not only that, you put in Fenway, because that's where the Red Sox play, it's 444. Now, again, I don't know what all this means, but I know it means something, okay? And they won this game last night, 6-9. to nine. The night before, there were 46 players, 23 each team, okay? They're up three games to one, another 13, and Max Muncie is 13-13-13, who hit the homer. Okay, the homer that broke the sky with the announcers that are food. <laughs> you can make out of this whatever you want, but I'm telling you right now, this was something that I could never imagine in a million years, and it's being shown to us for a reason. So I pray that you can use discernment, seek God's will in prayer, seeking Jesus daily, diligently, in the word always, because it's the only thing that's going to keep your mind together through all of this. And it's only just begun, folks. This, this is all only just begun. And what they're talking about, you know, when they do stuff like this, there's a reason. There's a reason for them showing these things. You see the whale in there? I mean, it's just too much. Too much. But I gotta share it. It's just what I must do. It's funny, too. Fenway is right down the road from this uh, giant obelisk that's literally 222 feet tall. <laughs> you know, the same as Duff. Anyway. I, I could ramble on for a long time on this, but this is really something. And I'll tell you, this Jewish synagogue shooting is a very telling thing of where we're at. This changes a lot of things. These uh, fake bombs and who knows what really happened at this synagogue. But I'll tell you, it's a big deal. I mean, even the synagogue is an inverted Masonic compass and squares. I mean, that's what that is. So, do with it what you will, folks, but be in Jesus, I'm telling you, because time is short, things are happening, and you just don't want to be caught off guard, so that's about it, I guess, you guys. I hope you have a good Sunday, Sunday, America's pastime, game five, I think, tonight in Los Angeles, right? All right I'm just rambling now. Peace and grace to you. Actually, I want to play this for you one more time before we before we depart, because this is crazy. He's having a dream in an episode called A Tree Grows in Springfield, and it's about a tree that springs hope, okay? The Tree of Life Synagogue, the menorah, the nine-branch menorah, Hanukkah comes in, all this stuff. It's the World Series, two out bottom of the ninth. Yes, we're at the point where baseball becomes mildly interesting. <laughs> Can Homer Simpson fresh off an anxiety dream about not studying for a high school test, come into this dream and knock one out of the park? And who'd have thunk it? We're food, too. <laughs> apparently, I'm married to a pork chop and have drumstick children. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> we're back. Uh. Duff. Steroid Santa Claus kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back, and the ball shatters the sky. Bring Come on. The itself down into the stadium. You're the whale. Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. 
groundskeepers are trying to put on the tarp, but it turned into a manta ray and strung them all. Uh. Right back after this word from oxygen, which Homer desperately needs to live. <laughs> and the little girl's got the unfinished pyramid. Oh, piece of grace to y'all. Keep prayed up. Praise God. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 